What up guys, Rob here, and uh, I'm joined by Amanda today and my good friend Damien. And uh, today we are at Murakami Japanese Garden and Museum in Delray Beach, Florida. Absolutely beautiful place. I've been here once before, but it's about 10 years ago. They have tea ceremonies inside a theater that we're going to try to check out a little bit later. They have a, a workshop going on right now. So we might not be able to get in there. If not, then we'll come back another time and check that out. Other than that, we're going to walk around the garden itself, give you a little bit of history of the place and uh, see what happens. Come on. So it's not free to get into the Murakami Museum. It is $15 for everyone and children five and under get in for free. They do give you these wristbands so that if you need to leave the park, um, you can come back in. So this is the back area of Murakami Museum. Um, so we came through these doors and uh, there's an the inside part there that's where you buy your tickets and also has the movie theater and the other theater where you can see the tea ceremonies. Um, so we didn't show you that part yet. We're gonna go back in and show you that a little bit later. Um, but you come through those doors and then you can go either that way or this way down the steps. And that leads you out here into the garden. So just walk down here and right over here, they have this cafe. It's a Japanese style cafe, so it's uh, Japanese inspired food. I came and ate here once. I don't think we're gonna be eating here today, um, but I will go up and give you a better shot of that later. Um, and then when I came, I had some kind of fish that was encrusted in almond, it was delicious. So if you ever come here, I definitely recommend the food for sure. And they have sushi and things like that as well. So it spills out here. And then just like up on the steps, you can either go this way and wrap around or this way. I like that bridge over there, so I want to go this way. Um, when you're walking through, you, they give you these boxes that have speakers and with these little signs you can hold your box up to and it'll give you a story about the section of the garden that you're looking at at that time. I don't know where you get those. We might have to go inside to get those. We might just skip it for now, but that is a thing. All right, so a little bit of history about the place. It was uh, started by a group of young farmers in the early 1900s, and uh, it was donated to Palm Beach in the 80s. And uh, so they, these farmers just started this giant Japanese garden, and Japanese farmers uh, arrived in what's now um, northern Boca Raton and formed an agricultural colony they called Yamato, which is an ancient uh, name for Japan. So I did not know that. So. Yamato in Japanese is Japan. So I wasn't sure if I was going to get the audio wand, but I decided to go ahead and get it because it turns out it was only $3, um, $3.21 after tax. So this is the audio wand here. And the way that it works is you just kind of walk around the park and they have these plaques for different areas of the park that you're looking at. And I'll show you those in just a bit. And uh, you walk up to the plaque and the plaques have numbers on them. So you key in the numbers on this pad and hold it up to your ear like a cell phone. It has volume control and stop and things like that. And it'll tell you a brief history about what it is that you're looking at. Um, it's pretty handy, especially considering that there's a lot of things that are in Japanese. That you're not quite sure how to pronounce, so you kind of get a lesson as well in Japanese. So it's pretty cool. So this is the first location for the uh, audio wand, audio display. So you, like I said before, you come up to these plaques here and you key in the numbers into the wand and it'll read it to you. So I'm going to do that now and I'll hold it up to the mic and see if you guys can hear. Is it playing? Yeah, it's short. Is there a volume knob on the thing? Yeah, it's all the way up. Oh, it's not. <laughs> so each um, plaque has uh, three numbers, possibly even four. And it says here that the 100 number is for basic information. The 200 number is for historical information. The 300 number is for design information. So it would probably tell you about the plants that are around the plaque. And then the 400s is fun or family fun facts. I have no idea what that's about. Hmm. Huh. Cool. We'll see. Well, we'll find out. Let's go. So Amanda's listening to this one here. I'm guessing it's about this tree or the surrounding area. I don't know because I can't hear it. Nobody else can hear it. You have to hold it directly up to your ear like a cell phone. Wow! Turtles! You guys know we love our turtles. 
that's gonna freak. Oh, I wish mm. Carrie Anna was here. Carrie Anna, look, turtles! The little baby's hanging out with the mom the whole time. Oh, So cute. Look at the, the older one. I didn't know there were so many turtles here. This is great. Look! Snapping turtles and box turtles. Oh, the baby's, baby's on, on the back now. Mama. Yeah. Cause that's a snapping turtle but that's a that's a red eared slider you know a lot about turtles i do i did not know this about you <laughs> we have more on the other side of the bridge right here they're everywhere it's so great look at that i love this place Okay, so I gotta say guys, uh, pardon our sweat. It is really hot out here today. It's been hot, super hot, like record hot for the last two or three days. Yesterday it was in the hundreds, 101 or 102. I think today's in the upper 90s, <laughs> but um, easily, easily <laughs> the upper 90s. Um, and I think it's gonna continue to be that way throughout the weekend. So we are hot. This is the Shinden Garden. Amanda's listening to about this one right now. So we just crossed the bridge here. We're looking at the turtles. And then that brings you around to this open space here with these gardens on each side of the, the path. And you can kind of walk around that way. That's at least kind of a dead end. Or you can turn around this way or just follow the path this way. So that's the way we're going to go now. I have no idea what these things are, but they are cool looking. If you guys know what these are, let me know down in the comments. So this is the path that we just came down and winds around through here and takes you up onto a deck right here, which is also another bridge. So it kind of spills you out over there. So that's where we're heading now. And I think as we continue to follow this path, there are, I think it's called the Singing Garden or the Singing Bamboo, Bamboo Garden or something like that. And it's basically a forest of bamboo. And as the breeze blows through it, it, creak, it creaks and it squeaks and just kind of sounds like um, the bamboo are making music. So it's a really relaxing spot. There are a lot of weddings that happen here as you can imagine why. Um, this place is just sheer beauty. Damien with his luscious locks. So sexy. So now we've entered the Paradise Garden. And that's right over here. And that is beautiful. Look at that, gorgeous, right? Very nice. We've got this cool little water fountain thing over here. And that one's pouring water into the mouth of that one and F, as it starts to fill up then it weighs it down and it'll dump the water down into this little rock garden area here so we're gonna wait it out and see what it happens there it goes that, that's cool so Amanda just found out that it was actually she was using the audio wand and she found out that this was actually originally created to scare away deer. So that is a staghorn fern. Okay. Um, named because the, the leaves on it look like a stag's horn, uh -huh. which is a big deer. They get hundreds and hundreds of pounds in weight. 
a lot of times the trees that they attach themselves to can't carry the weight. The, uh, people, when they own them, they use chains. Like they go to Home Depot and get chains and wrap them around and let the uh -huh. plant grow into the, or the chain grow into the plant, however that works. And then they hang them from humongous trees like this that are stronger and can hold them. Huh, how about They're that? They're really neat though. They're beautiful, I've always wanted one. Interesting, and no balloons prohibited. So good news, we got out of the shade and now we're in direct sunlight. That's so not good news. no, exactly. <laughs> uh. Are you trying to record me about to die? Yes. Die. <laughs> we are taking a shade break because Florida. So this is the inside of the Murakami uh, Japanese Garden Center. And uh, over there is where you buy the tickets. And you also get your wristbands. Over there we have the uh, museum and gift shop. Uh, the, there's a library over there, which I think is also where they do the tea ceremony. We'll find out in just a few minutes. And then that's where you go out to see the garden itself. And here's the theater. Unfortunately, they do still have the workshop going on. But normally they have a, a black and white documentary about the history of Morikami Museum. So if you're ever in the area and you visit Morikami, I definitely recommend checking out the, uh, the theater first before you do anything else so you can get a brief history of the place. If you don't do that, then they do have pamphlets which also explain the history as well. So I just found out that they had their last tea ceremony show um, after Father's Day, and they're not going to have another one until September. So unfortunately, we'll be able to watch that today, but I'm going to show you how it looks inside anyway. And this is just kind of a sneak preview of the tea ceremony. This is as far as we're allowed to go in. So we're trying to figure out where we're going to eat because we don't really get to see Damien very often. So we didn't want to do just a vlog. We also wanted to hang out, have some drinks, get something to eat. So we decided on the Mellow Mushroom. So we're going to head inside, get something to eat, hang out, have some drinks, <clears throat> and just kind of talk for a bit. We'll show you guys what we had uh, before we head home. All right, so we're at the Mellow Mushroom now. We're just waiting for Damien. The uh, reason why we decided on the Mellow Mushroom is because Damien is a vegetarian, so he can't have meat. We were going to do gourmet killer dogs. I wanted to introduce him to that place, but then I remembered, oh yeah, he doesn't eat meat, and I'm not sure if they have veggie options. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so we're just waiting on him to get here. They do have craft beers and he's really big into craft beers and he doesn't know it So that's gonna be a nice surprise for him. <laughs> so stick around for that All right, so Damien made it and we had a special prize surprise for you. They have um, Did I say prize or surprise? Both. Oh, all right. <laughs> Some fries. <laughs> they Some have fries uh, their own specialty craft beer stuff what? So we know you like your craft beers. So. Do you see there all you of so well. Yes, sir. Yeah. So well. <laughs> he's a Look happy boy. The ones that they have on tap Back there. Oh, this is a brewery. <laughs> yeah. I did not. Wow. Yes, sir. So, I forgot to show you guys before I got the Bloody Mary. Damien got an IPA. What did you say it was called again? Uh, Bell's Two Hearted Ale. Bell's Two Hearted Ale. Salute. IPA. Amanda got a Coke. And then over here, we have hummus. It said that it, besides the pita, it said that it came with carrots and celery sticks as well, but it didn't, but that's okay. And it has paprika and olive oil yes. on top. Thank you. Got it, guys. Another beer, sir? Then over here, Damien ordered the bruschetta. Bruschetta. With, <laughs> with uh, tomatoes, basil, and instead of goat cheese, it's uh, feta cheese and that's balsamic great. glaze. That Looks great. delicious. And then we also got the pretzel bites. I think these are sourdough pretzels with Parmesan cheese and a beer cheddar. Um, I think it's Pat's, Pat's Blue, Blue Ribbon, Ribbon Beer Cheese. Looks delicious. Oh yeah. All right, so now we got our main courses. I've got the twice baked crispy chicken wings, medium or hot actually. Um, she said they weren't too hot. They're a little bit hotter than I expected to be, but not burning my mouth. They're still delicious. Amanda got, what did you get again? The barbecue chicken. Um, barbecue pizza. chicken. The it does have bacon on it too? Pizza. Yes, there's bacon. It's funky Q chicken. Yeah, funky Q chicken. So mm. it's got um, chicken, barbecue, bacon, cheddar, and mozzarella cheeses on it. That looks delicious. And then it over here. It does have onions, but I got, got it without onions. Oh, right, like red onions, right? No, caramelized onions. Oh, caramelized onions, okay. And then Damien got... I have a veggie-based pizza, uh, black olives, uh, mushrooms, and red peppers on an oil and garlic base. Oh, oh. Yeah. that sounds delicious. I'm not a oh, yeah. I'm not a vegetarian by any stretch of imagination, but that looks and smells great. It does. All right. Hey, <laughs> food. 
<laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> all right, guys, so that's gonna do it for us. We uh, checked out the Morikami Museum, got to see all the beautiful gardens. I'm sorry we weren't able to do the tea ceremony or the theater, but we will go back another time and hopefully all of that will be open. Uh, we had a fantastic lunch here at Mellow Mushroom. Enjoy it. Awesome. Highly recommended. Right on. So good. Had great drinks, great food, and of course, good times with good friends. So, uh... Morikami Museum was probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Two tips, though. Don't wear flip-flops. <laughs> Pea gravel everywhere. Not comfortable. And also, don't go in feels like 107 degree weather. Not a good idea. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. It was not comfortable. Even I think we, with shade, it, it would just was way too hot. Right. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like we would have had a better time. and Probably would have been there a little bit longer if right. it was a little bit cooler. But it was just way too hot. So don't go in June, July, August. Not a good idea. Summer, just now. We yeah. learned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we learned a valuable lesson. But we'll definitely be back when it's cooler. So expect another video for that about a year from now. So... If you guys are new here, please make sure you subscribe down below. Click that, click that uh, bell notification so you can get notifications every time we put out a new episode. And also visit me on Facebook at The Wandering Floridian, as well as Snapchat and Twitter, also The Wandering Floridian. That's going to do it for us. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. We love you, and bye! bye.